Hiya! Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and let's get into it! Hey everyone, welcome to a new vlog. This term is starting properly now. This is exam term and I've got my first contact hour of the term today and it's a mock exam. Yay! So my mock starts in less than an hour and a half so I should really go and get up in a moment. It's on two of my modules so that's two thirds of the content I'm learning this year and it doesn't count towards anything it's just a progress tracker at this point. Real exams are in 32 days time I don't know if you can see that but they are in fact in 32 days time. I'm not feeling too good about it I just I don't feel ready for this mock. I feel like it's so frustrating. I've worked so hard over the holiday, yet I just haven't covered all the content. There's just stuff I know I haven't revised. If a question comes up on it, I'm just not gonna have a clue how to answer it. I just, I don't know, there's just too much to know, guys. There's too much to know. So this morning I've been up doing flashcards and cramming, like I got up at six o'clock and been doing flashcards, but it's probably not gonna make any difference. And I'm sorry to be pessimistic, but oh, I'm not feeling good about this mock at all. But at least it's just a mock. So I'm telling myself, don't get stressed about it. It's fine, we're just gonna know the areas we need to improve on, which is probably everywhere. <laughs> Why are exams so stressful, guys? Someone tell me. Okay, so I'm up. I'm just about to head to my mock. I'm just trying to relax myself. It's fine, I've worked hard. If it goes bad, that's, that's life. I'm off. <laughs> Wish me luck. Hello, everyone. So, I am back from my mock three hours later. <laughs> Um, it actually goes quite fast when you're in the exam. It was as expected, really. I don't think I know anything new. I knew before that I needed to do more revision. I know now that I still need to do more revision. <laughs> I'm hoping I've scraped a pass, at least in that paper. That just lots more question practice I think is needed. Now I definitely, definitely, definitely want lunch. Hey guys, I've had lunch and I'm just about to head off to the library because I've got so much work to do. I'm just gonna pack up my bag, get my work out my folders that I need. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the library now. I actually think it's gonna be really, really busy. So I went about mid afternoon yesterday and I really struggled to get a seat at all. I don't even know if it's worth walking over there. I don't want to walk over only to find I have to walk back because there's no seats, but I do want to work in the library. It's a struggle. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try because I work quite well in the library. So I came back from the library about almost two hours ago now. I've had dinner, I've sat around and watched some YouTube and in general just tried to relax. I just, it got to the point when I was in the library, it was about five o'clock and I was like, I'm so done. I've done so much work today. I'm literally exhausted. I'm now on to editing. <laughs> Have a sneak peek, here we are. I need to get back to work shortly though because I still have some work that I would quite like to get done this afternoon. Or this evening now, I suppose. Because it gets light so late in the day now, it feels like it's still afternoon when it's actually evening. Hey everyone, so I've been on a run and it was good and I've just had breakfast and sat chatting to my friends a little bit. And now I'm gonna go have a shower and head straight to the library. I've got my first supervision of term today and I've handed in work for it already but I want to kind of go over the stuff for that supervision this morning as well just so I'm ready with like any very particular questions I have on the content. I also need to get some work done for tomorrow. I've actually got quite a pile of work that I need to get through today. I had a dream last night that I was going on holiday like I literally booked a holiday for tomorrow and I was like no I can't go on holiday I've got to revise I can't take a week off work and it was stressing me out and I was like there's 31 days till exams. If I take a week out, there's only gonna be 24 days left until exams. Ah! So I was so relieved when I woke up and I found I wasn't going on holiday. Which is probably normally the opposite of what I'd do when I dreamt I was going on holiday. But look, that's what exams are doing to me. I'm committed to the course. Just got back from the library. When I first got there, I literally sat down and thought I didn't bring any graph paper with me. Why didn't I remember this when I was leaving my room? And it's a bit of a trek over to the library these days, like it's a five minute walk. I had to walk all the way back, get my graph paper, and then go back to the library. But we eventually got working. I've now got 
just under 45 minutes. I'm gonna go get some lunch. I'm gonna finish off drying my hair because I just let it dry naturally today and then probably straighten the frizz out of it because we don't like frizz. Okay, so I'm just about to head off to my first supervision of term. For those who are new, supervisions are small group teaching sessions with a academic in college. It's like a tutoring session and it just really, really helps with learning the content. And yeah, so I've been preparing for it this morning so I can get the most out of the supervision. Not too many supervisions left and all that. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go to that now. I am in my room revising this evening. I was just speaking to my parents on the phone and I was saying, I think this might be the hardest I've ever worked in my life except A-levels, because I worked really, really hard for my A-levels, but I feel like the amount of effort and studying I'm putting in at the moment is more than ever before. <laughs> but it's good. I feel like I've got a good balance. I'm making sure I take regular breaks, but I'm still being productive when I'm working. I don't know, the amount of content is feeling quite overwhelming right now. Like, lectures are starting on Friday and we've got like another three weeks worth of new content to learn this term. Honestly I haven't even covered everything we've done so far in my revision. There's so 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 much to know. I mean I feel like I could put in insane numbers of hours each day and still not cover all the content. This is the most academically challenged I've ever been in my life which I suppose would make sense like the level of the content you're learning is obviously going to increase as you move through the years of education but it's good it's good though and I'm learning a lot but I can just feel myself getting stressed already and I don't know why I do because like exams aren't the be all and end all but just I want a good grade so so bad I just don't want to let myself down I don't want to fail. The thoughts that have been going through my head recently is how dare they let me into this place and give me an offer for Cambridge when I'm not even capable of the content. Like I feel so so out of my depth, it's crazy. I know part of that is just my low self-confidence but also I do genuinely feel like everyone else is always one step ahead of me and I'm always trying to catch up. I'm always just about clinging on. I'm just finding it really, really hard. Good morning, everyone. So I've just got up, I'm dressed. I've been for a run this morning. So this morning I need to cycle over to West Cambridge to hand in work and I was like, right, let's go get ready. And oh, look what's happened. It started raining, pouring. I was sitting back there thinking, what's that dripping noise? Rain. The weather forecast said it wasn't due to rain this morning, so I feel a little bit betrayed. Okay, now it stopped. Maybe it was just a shower. They call them April showers, don't they? That must have been just an April shower. Work hands in. Does someone want to tell me where the sun's gone? This weather is just not what I was expecting. My bike is still in working order this term, although I put the seat up last term and now I'm thinking the seat's too high and I want to lower it again, but I don't know how. I think I need an Allen key from what people have said. Okay, so I'm back from my cycle ride and now typically the sun has come out. Look, it wasn't that sunny when I was out there. My first math supervision of term is in an hour and a half-ish um, and then it'll be lunch after that. Okay, so I'm just heading to my math supervision. It's an hour long. Okay, so I've just had lunch taking the rest of my Sainsbury's shop up to my room. I've put the necessary stuff in the fridge. Had a chat with my friends over lunch, which was pleasant. I think I'm just going to go up to my room now, tie up stuff from the math supervision and have a cream egg, because that's an essential part of my day. Then I'll go to the library for the rest of the afternoon until dinner time. Hello everyone, I'm walking to lectures. Not really ready for lectures to start again don't have much choice in the matter. I've just got to pay attention the whole way through and not get behind this term because there is literally no time to catch up if I do get behind because exams are literally a week after lectures end. I suppose it's good to get back into a routine.
I'm in my pajamas. I'm just about to go to sleep. Lectures were okay this morning. I managed to pay attention in all three lectures, which is quite good. Like I didn't lose focus at all throughout the whole of the three lectures. That's three hours solid of focusing and I'm feeling okay about all the new content that we've got to learn. I'm thinking it's doable. I've just got to stay on it. I had a meeting with my director of studies today and that was, I think it was reassuring. He just gave me some advice on revision. But tomorrow is Saturday, which I'm very happy about because it means no lectures for me and I'm not going to set an alarm. This is the first time I've not set an alarm in ages. I'm just gonna wake up when I wake up. Good morning, everybody. So it's now past nine o'clock. I did wake up at just past eight o'clock, about an hour ago, and that was without an alarm. So I thought that's actually not bad. I'm feeling well rested, so that's good. It feels like a lovely Saturday morning. I've literally just been sat in my bed for an hour replying to YouTube comments on my latest video. In general, thanks for everyone's lovely comments on my YouTube videos. Like, honestly, these comments make my day. I love interacting with you guys and replying. So yeah, thanks for commenting. Thanks for showing the love. I think I'm gonna get up and get some breakfast. And I wanna be working by like an hour's time, I wanna say. I'm gonna go to the library this morning and then I'm gonna go for brunch but at lunchtime because a lot of my friends have lectures until lunchtime so they can't have brunch mid-morning as it's usually intended. Okay I'm finally heading off to the library. It's taken me a while but you know what it's a Saturday morning and I'll put in a good few hours in the rest of today. As you can probably also see I am making no effort of my appearance at the moment. I rung my mum yesterday evening and I had makeup on because we had lectures and stuff yesterday so I was like you know what I'll, I'll make myself look nice I'll straighten my hair I'll put some makeup on but like every other day I'm literally just in the library I don't even want to make an effort putting makeup on or anything and my mum was like oh you look different Paige you you look nice and I was like oh that, that's nice this weekend we'll be back to my normal self not wearing makeup makeup is for when exams are over and I have time to put it on so I've just come back from the library and I'm a little bit upset really because I was sitting in the library and I've been working this morning thinking Oh, I'm gonna have a great brunch. That's my treat today. And then the college have canceled brunch. Like they've literally put a notice up outside the door, giving us no advance warning, saying, oh, by the way, we've decided at the last minute to cancel brunch today. How do they expect me to pass my exams without having my Saturday brunch? It's what I look forward to. It's what keeps me going without this brunch. How am I supposed to carry on? Like, this was my treat and I was working. I was like, why am I even working? I'm not even getting a treat today. Today's the worst day ever. I'm just a hungry student now. I guess I'm just gonna go and make a Marmite sandwich. Like, it's not that exciting now. I was really looking forward to brunch. Hello guys, so suddenly everyone has arrived back from lectures. I've got an yeah, egg yeah, sandwich. I didn't make the egg, but I'm looking forward to eating it. And here is everyone else. <laughs> They're all cooking. It's a busy, busy kitchen. Hello, hello. I'm feeling less stressed. I'm feeling less panicked. I don't know what's happened, but I had a look at my countdown. And because it's 28 days now, which is actually a round number of weeks, that's four weeks. Four whole weeks. I've got four whole weeks to revise from now. I'm going to be fine. That's plenty of time. I can relax. Why am I panicking? I'm going to do some maths because I haven't done much maths recently because obviously I had a physics mock last week and not a maths mock. So I just kind of neglected all my maths work and just revised physics, but I'm actually going to do some maths now. Hello everyone. So I've just got back from car. I had a burger. There's a knock on the door. <laughs> Guys, you can't see right now, but there's two foxes, like literally right here. Oh my God, I wish you could see them. Oh God, <laughs> foxes are scaring me, Jesus Christ. They're so brave. Good morning, everybody. So it's Sunday morning and guess where I'm off to today? I'll give you a minute, get your guesses in. Where do you think I'm going? What could I be doing today? That's right, I'm going to the library, literally where I spend 
all my days at the moment. Oh my god, I better get a good grade out of this. I've fully committed to the cause, okay? Like, I'm going to the library all the time. I deserve a good grade. Get page a 2-1. That's what the cause is. Get page a 2-1. And you might think, page a 2-1's easy. Like, you should be going for a first. Like, everyone can get a 2-1. No, everyone can't get a 2-1. It's very, very, very hard. Because I'm being ranked against everyone else in my year, and they're all quite bright. It's a bit annoying, really. Could they all just stop revising and stop being so intelligent? I've got to do better than a certain amount of people in my year to get the 2-1. But you know what? We're gonna keep going for it. Hello everyone, welcome to another laundry segment. Today I'm joined by Henry. I'm a fellow student at Jesus College, but I'm doing classics in my second year. And today we've got lots of laundry to do. Look at this big sack. Someone said I chose Latin for GCSE. Did Excellent I make choice. the right decision? That is absolutely the right decision. Mm -hmm. It's a really good GCSE to take. It helps you with so many things in the other subjects that you'll be studying at GCSE or later in life, mm. whatever they end up being. Uh, and it will help you generally with thinking about how language works and mm. using it in, in whatever way you end up doing. Any advice for exam season? Take breaks. Although I probably take too many, so <laughs> get a good balance. A good <laughs> number of breaks. What do you do in your free time? I like music. Uh, whether that's often playing music, sometimes writing music is fun to do in my free time. Socialising with friends is a really good thing to do, chill yeah, and yeah. Uh, see how everyone else is getting on. Uh, you know, sometimes even laundry segments. Yeah! <laughs> laundry is a great pastime. <laughs> oh, someone said they love Henry's blog, Political Language, so they'd like to know why you started the blog. I started writing a blog about political language because I like uh, thinking about language and studying language and I spend a lot of my time thinking about politics and following current affairs so that just mm. brings my two interests together and that's what uh, uh, yeah that's how I like to show that and produce something every week so I'm committed to putting mm. out a blog post every Friday. I'll put a link in the description to Henry's blog so everyone can check it out. <laughs> Ooh that's so gross. Ooh how do I get rid of that? <laughs> Laundry disaster. Why? I don't know how that why do people do this to the machine? There's like a load of gunk in the machine. I don't even know how to, what to do with that. It? Okay, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to carry on with the questions and then we're going to do the laundry after. Next question is, what would you say to your secondary school self? Don't get as worried about the things that stress you out or the things mm. that really concern you because actually what's going to happen is when you learn from those things, you'll be a better person and you'll be more equipped to tackle things later in life. And yes, that's all the questions. So thank you very much for joining me yeah. today, Henry. I've enjoyed it. Thank you for sending in questions. Yeah. If you want to get involved next time, then it will all be over on my Instagram. And yeah, see you soon with another laundry segment. Bye. This is what I've been left with. This is like liquid floaty solidy bits, just oh, in the bit where I'm supposed to put, I don't want to put my laundry on with that. No, thank you. I obviously rung my parents because that's what I do with laundry disasters and apparently this thing is removable so we can take it out and wash it out but we can't find any cash to remove it. Success! It's been removed. It took some time. Me and Henry were both at it trying to get it out. Look how disgusting it is in there. Gross. Also, this needs cleaning out but we've had success. Okay everyone, so my laundry is complete. I think I am going to go back to the library. Actually, I'm gonna have a coffee first and then I'm gonna go back to the library. Hey everyone, so I'm just having a coffee break now. Glorious thing that coffee is. So I basically just forgot how good I am at procrastinating. Um, I am actually going to the library now. I just, it got to the point where I was like, do you know what? I should have a snack now to keep me going because the library is a bit of a walk away and there's no point going there, coming back like pretty much straight away for dinner and then going back. So I've had a snack. I'm gonna go for like a few hours and then I'll come back and have a late evening sandwich or something. So I've now figured out the most efficient way to get to the library. This is the quickest route from where I live to the library, <laughs> minimizing time spent walking.
Okay, we're back from the library, a little bit earlier than usual. I'm feeling quite pleased with myself, like, I've basically done a solid amount of work today. I'm just gonna go get my laundry out the washing machine, put stuff in the tumble dryer, etc. And I might just read over my lecture notes, just so I'm prepped for the lectures tomorrow morning, because I've really got to stay on top of lectures this term. Also, can we just appreciate my slippers? Woohoo! They're my summer slippers, how cool are they? Bonjour everyone. I don't know why, but it's so hot in this room. I'm just gonna open a window. I've just hung up my laundry and I suddenly thought, hey, why don't I put on a second load? Because obviously I have my colours to do, didn't do my colours earlier. So, you know, I'm gonna go put a second load of laundry on. No laundry segment this time, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah. And that's the end of this vlog. I'd just like to say again, thank you very much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform on which you can create a website. And it's also so, so easy because they have tons of designer award-winning templates which you can use for the website. One really handy feature is that you can link all your social media accounts to your website so you can post to all of them simultaneously. They also have a mobile app, which means you can manage a blog and its comments whilst on the go. If you go to squarespace.com forward slash page Y, you can get 10% off your first purchase and a free trial. So I will leave a link to that in the description below. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you're all having a good week. Please do give it a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below, hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you soon with another vlog. Bye.